Now remembering that this is a snapshot in time, okay? It's a snapshot in time. And that in fact, the whole thing, of course, is rolling from side to side. B is moving through a radius here, but always intersecting through M at these small angles of heel when M is on the center line. Let's just run quickly through those three states. A stiff, stable vessel is going to have a relatively large GZ lever, and I can indicate that I understand that that GZ lever is going to right the ship. A tender vessel, remembering that a tender vessel is still a stable vessel, is going to have a smaller GZ. That writing moment is less. The force of buoyancy remains the same, but the lever is shorter, so it's harder to bring the ship back up to the upright. If we continue to load the vessel up high or discharge weights from down low, G and M may end up being on the same spot. Neutral equilibrium, the vessel won't have any right, riding lever at all. But if we proceed to an unstable vessel, we now, of course, G, and I'm going to again exaggerate this, G is going up the center line, but look at where Z has to be. It's reversed. And if we now, I'll just go over this side, draw that line representing gravity, we can see that in fact the moment being created is not a riding lever anymore, it's a capsizing lever. So I can change this arrow around the other way. And in fact, for clarity, let's just get rid of all this. And that. And we can see that we now have a moment that we don't want. That is an unstable vessel. So now let's look briefly at a listed vessel, a vessel which has a list. Do you remember those definitions? A heeled vessel that we've just been looking at is inclined over to one side due to an external force, wind and waves. A listed vessel is going to incline to one side due to an internal force, due to some sort of asymmetric loading condition. So here's our vessel inclined, meta center, center of buoyancy, on a well-managed ship, we would expect the center of gravity be there, to be there, but for whatever reason, let's just say, everybody's run to, I don't know, one side of the ship. Look, there's a whale. Everybody's, all your passengers are crowded over to one side. There's a tall dude. And the center of gravity is going to move, remember, parallel to that shift in weight. Let's just say they're all lounging around on deck, evenly distributed. Your vessel was upright. They've all gone onto one side. The center of gravity of your vessel moves parallel to a shift in a weight. So I'm going to exaggerate it, of course. Whilst they all stand there looking at the whale, the center of gravity has gone over here. Your vessel's going to list. Hopefully, they won't all panic and run to the other side, and you'll have a list on the other side, won't you? But um, it's not that hard to conceive. Remember, this is a stable vessel, it's just listed. There is an asymmetric load my good boat still applies. Question, can a vessel be healed while she is listed? Indeed it can. Just imagine all those people still staying there and a wave comes from this direction, not a very big one hopefully, and the vessel rolls even a little bit further towards that side. Rather than redo this whole picture, just give me a bit of poetic license and I'm going to remove G from here. Now just imagine the vessel has been rolled over a little bit further. Whilst those people don't move, G is constant, just not on the center line. So I'll draw it here instead. It's just a little bit easier than going through the hoo-ha of drawing this diagram again. But do we not have a bit of a GZ lever? G acting down, B acting up, wanting to bring the vessel not back upright, but back to the angle of list. So yes, a vessel can be listed and healed at the same time.